Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel. As you saw from the intro, we're going to try and get the songs on Hysteria by Muse. So there's one key pedal that I've used throughout all this, and that's the new Anna Sounds Full Story, which is basically a multi-big muff pedal, and you can load up two different big muff circuits in there via the swappable time cards. So considering Chris Wolstenheim uses a black Russian big muff a lot, I'm using that time card for the bass parts, and then for the guitar parts, I'm actually using the big muff pie style time cards, and then actually using the mid-range switch to make it sound more like a distortion which really suits this track. I actually recently did a full demo of the full story so if you'd like to see that there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. So look at the bass parts first so I was using my American vintage jazz bass and that was running into the full story with the black Russian big muff style circuit and straight into my interface and using an Ampeg SVT bass amp simulator plugin as well and that's it that's the whole time so I'll pull that track isolated from the intro song now so you can see and hear exactly what's going on. Okay, so now for Matt Bellamy's guitar tone, I'm just using my Matt Multi Classic to get that kind of telly sound. Like I said, in the Anna Sound's full story, I had the Big Muff Pi op amp style circuit, and I had the mid range switch engaged, so it was making it sound much more like a distortion tone, which really comes in handy for this song. And that's the whole signal train running into the Supra Royale. So I'll pull that track isolated from the intro song now, so you can see and hear exactly what's going on. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we have it. That was a look at how to sound like Hysteria by Muse for bass and guitar. Of course, the Anasounds Full Story really comes in handy because you can use the same circuit that Chris Wolstenholm used a lot during Muse's bass parts. And then I also used a big muff to get more of a distortion fuzz tone for Matt Bellamy's parts that I think really came in handy and really nailed this song. Again, if you want to see my full demo of the full story, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. But let me know down in the comments how close you thought I got to the original song and any future I'd sound like videos you'd like to see me do. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists. I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.